you, Virgil? Yes! Don't mess with the man with the sexy pajamas! I'm gonna get you, but... First, I have to do a review of Don't Panic. Stay right there, don't move! I'm gonna get my scepter and I'm gonna end it for you, once and for all. Dimension Occultus, a.k.a. Don't Panic, a film from 1988, written, directed, and produced by Ruben Galindo Jr., who has done such films as Cemetery of Terror, Los Trumnas, De Tumbas, yes, starring action superstar John Michael Bischoff as he plays Michael in the lead role, and he battles demons with sexy dinosaur pajamas, and you ask... What attire should I wear to review this film? The only attire that you can ever use. To, to, to review a film like Don't Panic, you must wear the dreaded dinosaur pajamas. Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday reviewer, Chris, from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris. And you know I love B Movies. I'm just going to say right now, putting this one on the cheeseometer, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, I give this an 1 and an 11. An 11. Best, cheesiest film I think I've ever seen. John Michael Bischoff, who plays Michael. Looks like he could be William Cat's Spanish son. I, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> now, William Cat was in, you know, shows like Greatest American Hero. Um, House, movie House. Y'all know that one. Or how about The Paperboy? Maybe Vinegar Central wants to do a release of The Paperboy soon. Yes! John Michael Bishop battling demons with sexy dinosaur pajamas. I mean, what's better than this? So the movie starts off with Michael's having his 17th birthday. His mother's an alcoholic, poor thing. She's upstairs, and she's allowing him to have this big 17 bash. Even though he's in high school, even though there's liquor everywhere, people are getting trashed. So finally, Michael's had enough. He's like, hey, guys, you guys got to leave. I'm getting a little tired here. But, you know, there are some friends that just stick around <laughs> because that's where the demons start coming out. Yes! <laughs> they take out the Ouija board, and they say, we're not leaving until you play with this. Ouija board. So his best buddy, Tony, um, talks about this demon called Virgil that he's a little too aware of. But again, going back, Michael's had a bad past with Ouija boards, and of course, he does what his friends tell him to do, and they conjure up Virgil. And... Before they leave, of course, they sp have to spill a little vodka on the Ouija board, you know, just for that extra additive to the mix. <laughs> so as Michael gets on with his day here in the early morning, um, <laughs> the Ouija board starts shaking and things go flying just a little bit to let you know that things are going to happen in this film. Now, Michael is having premonitions of his friends getting killed one by one, and well, his premonition proved to be right because each one of the friends that was at that party that had anything to do with the Ouija board now is getting killed off one by one. But Michael has been um, seeing Ale Ale Alexandra, played by Gabrielle, Has Gabrielle Hassel, who uh, is the new girl in school, and... Um, Michael falls in love with and she falls in love with him even though they had one little outing they're automatically in love it seems like a little puppy love thing and uh albeit Alexandra with that unibrow I'm not joking here this girl has a unibrow and it set me in hysterics off the entire film <laughs> and the voiceovers were ridiculous the uh, English dubbed voiceovers were absolutely outlandish and <laughs> the dialogue was priceless <laughs> absolutely priceless <laughs> but the question you might be asking is is Michael going to kill off Virgil and how will he do it what type of weapon will he need because he does need a particular weapon in order to kill off Virgil you have to watch this film, because I am not ruining a darn thing for you. <laughs> Dimension Occultus, don't panic. This may be one of my favorite B-movies of all time. Oh my god, this movie is such a blast. Like I said, the dialogue's all over the place. The characters are fun. <laughs> but I could not stop looking at Alejandra's unibrow. Oh my god. <laughs> and this movie ends on such a sour note. <laughs> it's so sad. But with a little additive with a nice rose, it puts a nice little ending. 
scene to the whole mix. <laughs> Absolutely priceless film. There's not much I, I can say about this that... Uh, <laughs> you just have to see this one. <laughs> to mention occultists, don't panic. This movie is a blast. I know Vin Vinegar Syndrome was selling these PJ, so I had to grab some of these. Just one pair, you know, not 20 pairs, because they only allowed us one pair. So. And <laughs> these PJs went out of print really fast, so. Well, they stopped selling them, I'll just say. But to mention occultists, don't panic. Definitely check this film out. It is an absolute blast. B-movie, greatness. The dubbing, the dialogue, absolutely all over the place and ridiculous. And him battling demons in his PJs, especially in that hospital scene. Wonderful. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, definitely check this film out. Um, the print probably looks best, as best as it's ever going to look. There are a lot of grainy scenes here and there, but you know what? This is probably the full version that Vinegar Syndrome grabbed and put out, and they did a wonderful job on this one. Beautiful slip cover. I'll just show you a little bit of this. Yeah. Here we go. And you've probably seen this one before, you know, people showing this one off before, but yeah. Such a blast. Beautiful artwork on this. Film and the print is probably as good as you're ever gonna see it, so definitely check this film out. Don't panic, it is an absolute blast. And like I say, if you have a chance to get some nice dinosaur pajamas, definitely go for it. 11 out of 11, 10 out of 10, being the one of the best, cheesiest films I think I have ever seen. Oh my god. And also stars Medeja, who is a, uh, she managed Scott Steiner in WCW in a small little role playing Christy. So definitely check that out as well. <laughs> Fun film, um, me trying to say anything will not do it justice. You just have to watch this film. This is a film you definitely have to watch. If you love anything cheesy and B-movie B and anything from the 80s, you will love this film. This film flows so well. An hour and 30 minutes, never welcomes its day. It flows beautifully well. And again, words cannot do this film justice. You just have to watch this one. You will have a good time watching this. You will laugh hysterically throughout the entire film. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Check out all the other reviewers. They all bring wonderful stuff to the table. And they may have some cool, sexy attire like I have right here. Oh, yeah. My wife finds it quite charming when I wear these. <clears throat> no. Anyways, yeah. Subscribe to Body Bags. Like if you like. And if you don't like, then maybe you won't like this one. I don't know. Just saying. But I would definitely check this one out. Just once. Especially if you have a group of people around the house. Put this one on. It, it's a blast, man. People have a really good time watching this film. And again, don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Magazine. Don't forget to tune into another episode of the show we call Body Rags, where I'm sending Virgil your way. <laughs> he may dress you up in sexy pajamas like this. Just 